Hey, what's up, you balls, you fucking jerk offs? It's me, Jeff Flake Jr. It's not actually my real name, but I don't give Meryl doesn't give a shit. Fact check, you fucking assholes. This is episode 128 of fucking the Bodega Boys podcast, you little stupid fucking jerks. You can fucking suck my cock. You fucking suck. I'll 360 no scope you from across the map. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you, dude. I got all the best fucking like fucking guns and shit and like Fortnite. Like, you can't fuck you, dude. I'm the best builder, dude. I'll build up to the fuck out. You can all fuck my cup. You know what I'm saying? From the back. You know what I mean? And my fuck, you know what my fuck name is. I'm never even gonna say it, man. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't wanna fuck set off any sensors or fucking the, the FAA, whatever the fuck, man. So fuck you guys. Fuck the podcast. Fuck Jesus Nice. Fuck Kim Arrow. Fuck Victor and his fuck sexy hair. Fuck Don and his fucking awesome sets. Fuck you guys, man. This is fucking Jeff Flake's son. I hate him. People of color, f- all you guys, man. I'm gonna continue to play my f- games. F- off, do that. You do your stupid f- little podcast, you little jerk offs. F- you, do f- drop before I drop you with my f- dragon off 360 no scope. Pow, wrecked, f- bitch. Live from Red Bull Studios, New York. Yo, episode 128. Ah! <laughs> Most dangerous podcast in the world. It's the Bodega Boys in the building live from 220 West 18th Street. You don't know. Red Bull Studios. You know what it is. You hear the crystal clear clarity. You know where we're transmitting you know from in your audio ears. You know what it is. It's your boy, yeah. DJ's Nice. Yes. A.K. Young Foley, A.K. Pocket State Fat Like Terry, A.K. Pocket State Fat Like, here we go! No. That's the clean version. Hey, Parker, course steps for Sling Dick. Eli Lippy, Butchers, Butchers, Gully, Slow Madame, I know your bitch. Young Day Party, Young Hot Take, DJ Stay Fuego, Mr. Nando's with a Rondo, Mio Nova Santa Venta de Cuarto, Mikhail Going Off, the Juve Boss, MC Local Gunga P, pulling up from 40 with your shorty. A.K. Don't talk to me in the Oopoo, because I don't fucking know you. The original, my plus one got a plus one, so don't make a fuss, son. Jesus Rossi, the Jamaican Jew. Jermaine Avocado Toast, Young Pa, the ghost to Mufasa. Young Chakuni without the Kunumi, A.K. Chili Limon, left hand. Reliever for the Yankees, K L O K. Two phone Jones, D Z X Machina, J Chuckle, Stanley Cups, the Human Doctor Bond is labeled Dilute, Dilute, Dilute. Dinardo de Trappy, Mr. 240 P, it's like my Pino Blurry. Yeah. DJ Wool, like AK, you're listening to Wash FM. Up next, what do we get? How do I even get this working? Oh, we got 24 hours of who? Oh, wow. Is this a Jazzy Fizzle product chisel? You know it. <laughs> I'm on. Hey, give it up for the queens of ATL Trapper, whatever. I'm Cherish. How about? Cherish. <laughs> y'all probably listening to this like, damn, I didn't know y'all fucked with this, but yes. Yeah, nothing but love. Yo, shout out to Jazzy Faye also, man, for making a career out of dressing like an, a, a stud. You know what I mean? With the sweater vest and the fucking short sleeve button up. I hey, see you, player. Shout to him. Studs on Labor Day. We out here. The Curry Goat, Deezer Spicer, Jamal Hasper, the Bronx, Celine Dion, Ray and Nephew's Nephew, the Moreno You Cannot Contain, or the Human Mermaid, Human Meme, Word the Jaw, Young Aaron, the Racist Provocateur, Henrik Budkos, Nelson Bangdella, Sergio Can't See Me, Vladimir Boofin, the Human Word is melting oh in your mouth. God. Mr. Bex on Decaton, Ricky Tiki Squabby, Greg Popovich, Morrissey is Chestnut, Mahatma Gambi, not Maccabee, but I got that cucumber, the juice oh, suppressed, but your boy never is. Oh I God. am the art, oh damn it, God. the Dundada Ganoush, the cup of noodles, no more cup of noodles, because it's got too much sodium, and you know what, it catches up with you eventually, you know, you just you die, you'll pressure. just die. You the Prince pressure. of Peckham, the Fashion Over Casanova, William H. Cent, five cent, ten cent dollar, forget the small change, give me big money or wine, yeah. the fluid, yeah. only anthem I salute is Dipset, it's tired for you, MAGA people. Mr. Saga, catch me at square one, top left, Mantis Marv. Don't cheese me, bro. True Rizzuto, holy cow, at the money store. Mr. Soft Ponds to all dudes. Count checks and jerk off. We got OJ, purple stuff, soda, and it's me, Sunny D. <laughs> David Yerman, these expensive, these drag bottles, these bloody shoes. Smoke Heem, no, Andrew Koo, Nanan, yeah. aka the junior energy god. Come sit Yo, down, pump the charger. See, punny, wine, punny, Kobe Pepper, charge. got your bitch on freeze. Wine the topic of gossip and sayasits. The Braves, hey, they're going to the playoffs. Hey. A, aka Grandpa Joe, because when you see Charlie, you see me. Don't touch that golden ticket. My cat will scratch you around. Mr. Shopping at Street with bad breeds like I'm an easy. Please believe in the black Asian Crack your back like an automatic craftmatic. Mr. La Marina, Mr. Marina with a fresh misdemeanor, a cold demeanor, AK 
aka your problematic bay. Don't even clean your air conditioner. Just cover it and use it again next season. Fuck it. The black mold that grows inside is flavorful. It's good. Don't worry about it if there's three birds nests in it. Yo, you know who the fuck it is, man? It's your boy the Kim Eric, the human direct flight, aka Donovan McDab, aka Kurt Maddy, aka Triz Khalifa. You know what I'm saying? AK skirt mode to jump the curb, hit your dog, keep it moving. Ask me if I give a fuck. I do not. You know what I'm saying? Call Peter, nigga. AKA, I ain't no fucking baby. I fucking man, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm a chuchi. AKA, no need to check the fucking guest list, nigga. I am the guest list. I just got nominated for a Nickelodeon award. Don't fucking worry about for what. I'll smack the shit out of you, you tall fat nigga. You know what I'm saying? Get the fuck out of here. AKA CC Dad Bathia. You know what I'm saying? AKA get into the shmoney and the smoke. It's your boy, Goldman Schmirak. You know what I'm saying? AKA I got all my kids jet skis and Montclair's so they can jet ski until no fucking November, nigga. On the Passaic. I don't give a fuck. AKA Ben Smack Beyond Boy. AKA Diego Maradona, nigga. My perico que un chico. You know what I'm saying? AKA Dick in your baby tumbo. Ah, listen to me. This pussy belongs to me now. You cannot come in this pussy no more unless you bring me 20 goats. And they must be fat goats, no bony goats. Okay? Motherfucker. AKA the new coach of the Knicks, David Trisdale. Pow, pow, nigga, take that for data. AKA Bottle Zantana, so smooth. I fall asleep at the wheel and crash a zip car. Then I ditch it and run. AKA the Dominican Dada Dyke Daddy, you know what I'm saying? Catch me every Friday while out with my shirt off at Locksmith. Wow. You know what I'm saying? My nipples are sweating, you know what I'm saying? That's a sign, it's not rumor. You know what I'm saying? AKA swap my card again. There's definitely money on it. Put the plastic bag on that shit. You're embarrassing us both. You know who the fuck I am, motherfucker. I read your name tag. It says Tyler. You know who I am, Tyler. I was the voice of Littlefoot and Landon before time. Nigga, respect me. AKA Romeo Zantos. So Zanny. <laughs> Let me black out. I'll try to help a BBW on stage, nigga. I don't care. There's, there's photo evidence. I don't give a fuck. AKA Lightning El Dutchie. Hello. Is it when you're looking for? I can see it in your eyes. That you broke hands and your fire. I'm sorry, my vocal coach is off this week. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? I need a little moon to honey. Okay, Tom Brazy, your girl got my balls deflated. You know what I'm saying? But it's all good, baby, because I'm still 45 and in the league. You know what I'm saying? Okay, feel the ass tight. I want to explain your cosmos, ma. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, just leave the tampon in the garbage. I'll take it out. Don't worry about it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> mm. A.K. Friday, no Messi MVP is your A.K. Zaniel Bedingfield. Mm, I gotta get some sticks. I gotta get some sticks. A.K. Joe Hooker. I dare you to smug me at Mama Sushi. You know what I'm saying? And if you don't get the toilet roll, nigga, you're not real. You know what I'm saying? You need some chicharrones in your sushi. A.K. Ben Barson. <laughs> My hands are gifted. I will replace an appendage of your choice with a whale penis. Now you are literally a fucking dog, as opposed to figuratively as you were before. Motherfucker. Candy, rub some oil on your titties. I like that. Uh, AKA, I'll open your fucking medicine cabinet, nigga. Secure your benzos, because it's the Zen, man. It's kind of a read. AKA, Rico Sabroso. AKA, Lucius Lion ass nigga. Come on, man. Of course I wasn't smoking weed, officer, man. It's prosciutto, asshole. It's prosciutto, all right? Okay, okay prosciutto, man. How could, you, how could I drive and smoke weed, man? Fuck this. I'm out. AKA, Baby Newport, two for five niggas got garbage down the way. AK Nino Brown should the car down. AK live from the Twin Donut at West Farms. It's the E. East Tree on CVB doing all his greatest hits. I want to be the one your DD is fucking. And dope sick love. Don't let me lean. You know what I'm saying? AKA shit from across the pond, mate. I told you every week it's the same shit. There's only two rock stars left in this world. This is about Dega Boys, of which I am one. The plantain seeping over in the sky. One day you will find me smoking weed on Dream On. And the chopper hold a haunted fucking round. You know what I'm saying? Spilling hot, hot tea. AKA I make Mike Francis, I'm never gonna fail. Never. AKA starting at forward, Gucci shades up on the fade when he escalates. It's Barmelo's Anthony for three bang. bang. Oh, wow, three pints. My God, he's leaning on the bench. If you see me at Garden State Plaza Chick fil A with my eyes redder than fucking Polynesian sauce, nigga, approach me like a fucking earth sign mammal, I will react aggressively. You know what I'm saying? AKA I sold fake lean to your favorite SoundCloud rapper. He's high off children's Tylenol and weed killer, nigga, that I found up in my, in my, you know what I'm saying? I round up shit. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Hasan, pita, coño, que llegamos. Que fue? Llegamos los de FIFA, coño. Estamos lindos de luna domingo. Dime, ¿qué es lo que tú dices? Aquí llegó el fuerte para controlar la vaina. Deja la bulla. Que tú no eres de nada. 
Los tigres que andan conmigo pero, andan buscando problemas. Bajan un ching para no explotarte, mamá huevo. Que yo ando con la tabla soba. Como el pan, mamá huevo. No sé. 128, motherfucker. So, what's 28? Uh, the, damn, 128 episodes. Yes. Wow, also, the power. Enjoy. AKAs is like, god damn, that's just long as fuck. Enjoy this shit. We'll have to like cut the AKs into their own separate podcasts. Let niggas download that on their own. You know what I'm saying? Get through niggas data for absolutely no fucking reason. Take that. Speaking of, shout out to the homie CC Sabathia, the aka the realest thing in the game, aka CC Savage Bathia. A cuz ejected a cuz Thursday's game for hitting Jesus with a peach. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to CC. You know what I'm saying? The realest thing in the game. Valley Joe, stand the fuck up. Bay Area, stand the fuck up. Ooh, damn. He E40 had... e even got her. Ooh. CC's the real singer in the game, cuz. Nigga throws a mean breaking ball. Ugh, nigga. Yeah, he was Don't too in and shy of earning a $500,000 bonus. And he said, fuck that. He I'm ripping money. my bank for my gang, nigga. He said, I don't really make decisions based on money, I guess. So, CC, uh, fuck you, you rich nigga. That you, uh, <laughs> you got money like that that you can throw at niggas and just throw away 500 k. I I respect it. Oh, uh, you are bugging. You, sir, it. are bugging. But, you know, that's the kind of things you can do when you sign $161 million. You know what I'm saying? Uh, $500,000 ain't even getting out of bed money for that's CC. That's it. He got that shit in his back pocket in his jeans. That nigga like, find that shit in his here. couch like, whoops. Oh, ooh, throw it shit. to his son like, yo, go get Ice cream. Yo, go. Keep the I, change. I don't know how much that shit costs, but go like get Send it. a nigga to Dairy Queen and shit. Come back like, with a pint. On. Like, fuck it. It's the off season. I'm eating yo, good. Yo, Throw yo, some Captain Crunch in that. Let's fly to Dubai for 12, 12 hours. Oh, no man. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out, shout out to up. him, man. That's a god, bro. So shout out to your man Kanye with the new fashion line. He had the mega hat and the Kaepernick shirt. Yeah, bro. It's looking good. Shut up, looking bro. Looking good. The full. They bullet me backstage. They said, don't go out there with that hat on. They bullet me backstage. They bullied me. Kanye went from the coolest person in the world to, to fucking God damn, her. What the fuck is he the on now, man? Here, bro. Oh, man. Like, uh, as the media say, loco, they had that buscando sonido. Your shit is whack, bro. You whack. You been whack, nigga. Your he shit is always corny. does this when it's time Stop to stunts, do, nigga. Uh, do His new album comes out next week. It's not done. He's still finishing right now. He got the cool. Fruity Loops on the Delta <laughs> terminal. He's beating on it. The person in front of him is like, you're making my chair rock. That nigga out of here, bro. He got uh, triple X Totino rolls and fucking uh, Takashi Kobayashi on the shit, man. Yeah. Get this nigga out of here, bro. I mean. These bitches think I'm stupid. I ain't stupid. I'm downloading this shit illegally. Nigga, fuck out of here. Yeah, I'm not even downloading. I'm not wasting that. It's fucking I'm not wasting that shit. Stre- that. Just, just, stream that shit. just stream that shit while I vacuum my living room and shit. Ooh, it's quiet for Kanye. Get him out of flop. here. He's a flop. He's Get, a him flop. Get him out of here. We're laughing at him the way they was laughing at Trump at the UN. Your man was. Th- your man thought he was doing the tight five. He was like, they yeah. like yakety schmackety. He's like, yeah. I learned from the best comedians in the world, like Dan Kirk, Steve Martin. Chevy Chase. The Your man thought he was doing the fucking uh, what is it, the, best. the uh, Kings of Comedy shit. Yeah, no. Nah. He was doing the him downstairs. No, no. Niggas no. was laughing at you. They should have had Sandman from the Apollo come out and hit that nigga the hook. Like, get out of here, nigga. And on the other side, there's somebody up there. They got like, get that the nigga out of here. Paint. Uh, Fam, how you go to the UN General Assembly as the president of the United States and get laughed at, nigga? You getting laughed at like it's an open mic, you fucking clown. You're yeah. a seven layer clown cake, bro. You should not be president. You should go just go bankrupt some more casinos, B. Get the fuck out of here. This nigga out of here, bro. I'm tired of this nigga shit. Shout out to Trump, though. He listens to the podcast. I know he's a fan of Lolo. I know he be listening to it. He be saying all the phrases and shit. That nigga got a t-shirt. <laughs> oh, man. I love those niggas. Shout out to the homie Bill Cosby. Locked the fuck up. Trump, bro. They got to they gotta reshoot the intro with that music with him in the fucking inmate jumpsuit. Walking through the fucking penitentiary and shit. Like, yo. So this nigga at lunch. Like, oh, nigga making big faces. <laughs> nigga trying to run in the cell with him. He's like, oh. He can, yeah, nigga. You touching niggas. Niggas having conjugals with Claire and shit. Niggas touching niggas. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> nigga gonna shake it, nigga be like, and I hit you with the bonk, jink, bonk, jink, nigga. When I hit you with the motherfucking shank in the abdomen, nigga. Nigga make a, a fucking shank out of jello. Oh, mm. Cosby. Nigga, I'm gonna put this popsicle, this fudge pop right up your motherfucking. You know what I'm talking about. Damn, man. Every, yo, shout out to everybody believing, because I know facts don't matter. Everybody believing that he was trying to buy NBC when if you look at it, that doesn't even make any sense. Like, that he didn't even have enough money to buy NBC, but you like, know what? Oprah it sounds good, money. and you can run through it in the barbershop shop with it it's not factual but you know what facts don't matter facts, facts have never mattered you can say whatever you want yeah. you By can the, say whatever that? you want like i'm calling 
it that the Knicks are going to win next season? Yeah. Do I have any any facts in front of me? Any stats? No. I just feel it in my gut. It's happening. It's going to you know happen. What I'm saying? Yankees win the World Series. Mm-hmm. Boston Red Sox are going to get swept in the first uh, in the ALDS. Perhaps. You know perhaps. What I'm could happen. It's all going to happen. Could it happen? The Yankees just would speak it into stay existence. healthy. Fucking. You know what I'm saying? Only healthy Yankee, only Yankee I respect is fucking Luke, Luke fucking, fucking Voight, okay? Luke. That is a blue collar worker right there. That's right. All right? Unlike these other guys, you know, <laughs> I look at Luke Voigt and I know he was born here. Yo. The rest of these guys, I don't know. I don't know. They opened their lunch pail. Maybe there's a platino in it. I don't know. I don't judge. Yo. All I'm saying is I'd rather have a guy that eats a ham sandwich than a guy that eats, what's it called? Mama Fuko? Yeah. Mofungo? Mofungo? Yeah. Ah, get these smash plants out of here. I'm <laughs> smashing home runs, bro. Shout out to fucking uh, Luke Voigt for having the build of like a fat fifth grader. Yeah. But hitting fucking bombs. He bro. looks like the fucking the little he looks men. Like the little fat cop. He looks like the little men that used to come with Tonka trucks back in the day and shit. And <laughs> niggas had no arms. Just put them in the fucking driver's seat. And shit. He was like, yeah, Luke. Yeah. Yeah, Luke. He's fucking raking right now. Yeah, he's so here. Shout, shout out to them. Him. Looking forward to the uh, wild card game. I, f- I believe if it's here in the Yankee Stadium, we will be in attendance. Shout out to the MLB. They're sending gia, us. Gia, gia. So you'll see us. I don't know. If MLB realizes how smacked I'm going to be, I'll probably try to fight a kid. Yeah. <sighs> Again. I'm boofing something, and I actually yeah. know what that means. And sometimes you got to, so, look, in the playoffs, all bets are, you could fight a kid in the playoffs. Yeah, you could. You if could. they got an opposing team jersey on, all bets are off. You could That's fight it. a you could fight a kid, a pregnant woman. That's it. Just because someone is disabled, uh, differently able, you can still fight them in the ballpark because that's you actually respecting them as a person. Yeah. You're like, I don't see you as a person in the wheelchair. I see you as a person. You're not a limit. You, your capabilities are not limited. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And I, I feel that like we are, we're, this is a fair fight because we're both two humans. All right. I see you. Know you saying? We're both real and people. And I see the asshole in you. I see the true colors <laughs> shining, shining through. through. You don't know. I beat the shit out you, nigga. Fuck out of here. Wait nigga. for you outside the motherfucking <laughs> handicap entrance. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, get the ramp, get the fucking ass started. And nigga, just hit me. <laughs> nigga, spear me. I'm like, ah! Yo, bro. Let that me nigga doing something. 22 miles per hour. Last series, I think I'm pretty sure the, Lake, the Yankees closed out the season uh, with a series with the Red Sox. Mm-hmm. I, I am going to attend one of those games, and if I see you in a Justin Pedroia jersey, I'm going to DDT you down a flight of stairs. I'm just telling you that right now, B. He's calling it. Allegedly. He's calling it. Allegedly. He's calling it. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Fuck out of here. It's a whack-ass bullpen, B. Serving up meatballs every time. And then motherfuckers arguing with me on Twitter. Oh, Yankees haven't won anything since 09. Oh, oh, oh. Suck, mean, suck my dick, nigga. We were fucking a couple runs away from the World Series last year. Where were you? Where were you? Sitting on your fucking couch. Uh, it's a moral victory, you know. what I'm saying we gotta, we gotta get the ring. We gotta ring, we gotta get a ring. To shut these kids and up. That's man. what I tell these we motherfuckers. We gotta get the rings to shut these we kids up. Get rings. We don't care about yo. We won the division. We won the pennant. You know how many fucking pennants the Yankees got, motherfucker. Some starting to sound like my friend says this shit. <laughs> yes, it's sad. There are nine year old kids. Walking around New York City who have never been to a Yankee parade. Oh man. My heart breaks for them. I'm making like a yeah. fucking the way they do the ad for those stray dogs at night. I'm just making like a <laughs> little charity commercial for them. Be like, look at look at little Alex from Sagasset. He never got a chance to see Derek G to play. He wasn't alive for the Boston Massacre. You can give give deep. <laughs> Give deep. He got a little MAGA hat on. <laughs> As all Yankee fans do. You can't really be a Yankee fan and not support Trump. Sorry. Sorry. I'm that's just I'm said, keeping it factual. Yo, and that's what I said. Cause so I was like, yo, b- fucking Boston fans are racist, like, which is like a fact. And then people were like, yo, niggas are like Yankee. And I was like, yo, fan, you got it. And then homie responded and said, Well, that's not all Boston fans. I was like, fam. I'm a Yankee fan, and I acknowledge that a large percentage of Yankee fans are standing on the cops that are mad racist. Like, I accept that. Mm-hmm. I, I'm okay with that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not okay with it, but I I, I acknowledge it. Stop fronting like y'all fans ain't motherfucking racist, nigga. I'm mean, okay with it. I like I like a good racist cop every now and then. You know what I'm saying? I like I, the safety of Yankee Stadium. Like, if you're not arresting me and busting my shit, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead. You and your boys, it's your day off. Leave the guns at home. You could drop a couple of end bombs. Ah, you know what I'm saying? We just have a fun baby. It's the first round of the playoffs. How do you, you want to You want to give me a hug and like probably call me a slur under your breath, but you got the wild steroid out bicep. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like laughing it off, baby. 
people they got, kill me. And they got the full sleeve. Yeah, it's, what, it's like the, the fucking fish. Aryan Nation shit with <laughs> like the fucking Iron Cross from fucking tank, <laughs> that fucking Panzer Titan game. Ugh. Nigga got a tattoo that says, that he thinks says like fucking kill all infidels in like Arabic, but it really just says like, I want a fucking Euro. Damn. Or some shit. I thought you were going to say, I want to uh, sex you up. I was like, damn, niggas are calling me bad fan like that. <laughs> it's crazy. Was one of those guys white? I don't remember. I don't even remember. I don't even call me bad. It was just like so. I mean, they nebulous. listen. Don't, don't sleep. They had some, they had some they joints. joints. But I, I can't tell any of them apart. I couldn't tell you one of those niggas' names, like, at all. Like, I just know that they were calling me bad. I think they, they, probably, they probably couldn't tell the difference of each other. <laughs> Oh, Panzer General. Shout out to all my nerds playing war games on a computer. That was, damn, that was 94. That shit was wet. Panzer General? The yep. tank game for PlayStation? Tanks. Uh, Was this for PlayStation? Yeah, probably. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Actually, it was for, uh, no, this one. Yeah, was PlayStation, Windows, DOS, yeah. MS-DOS. MS-DOS. Which is uh, originally, a lot of people don't realize, the person that invented DOS actually also invented DOS Ekes. They came together. Oh, shit. So that's how you used that's to That's how he's it. the most interesting man on the planet. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I got a throwback. Y'all don't know about this song. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh no. What if that were you? No, turn it off. Turn it off. It's gonna haunt my dreams. If it were you in that sandwich, you wouldn't be laughing at all. Yeah, that's a throwback. That was man, that's morbid. a classic. That's a, that's very morbid. That's the fish eating. Watching you eat the fish. If you, that's all my fillet of fish gang. That's our that's our lift every voice and sing. Oh my! Put your God. hand over your heart when you hear that. Give me back that filet of fish. Yo. Give me that fish. That fish was not happy to be there. I mean, the fish was already dead. It's like, yo, you already got me on the wall. Now you're just going to eat a nigga in front of me? You going to eat my cousin? Yo. That's a... Uh, oh, man. Oh, uh, man. Damn, Damn it's bro. dark. It's very dark. What if one, one day some animal got to like come back and eat all of us? Just like cows for one day. They should have one day where animals could eat humans. Just like an animal purge? Shit. Yeah. Yeah. All the frogs that you had to fucking paralyze with that little pin in science and bio lab and yeah, shit. Yeah, they come back. And they just come back and just stick that pin in your back. Well, frogs ain't really that scary and shit. And then like you can't really have a frog purge because they can't do the shit if it get too cold and shit because they're cold blooded or whatever or amphibians or whatever. Imagine, but imagine just walking into your crib and you just like and there's eight thousand frogs in your house. I mean, I would just slowly back up and walk out. <laughs> I'm not just, who do you even call if you got like that's some biblical shit, nigga. Like you can't call go on handy.com and be like, yo, yo, I got frogs, and by the way, I think uh someone murdered all the firstborn sons in my build. Like, nah, nigga. Yo. Come uh, on, man. Like, yo. ah, you turn on your faucet, it's turned to blood red. You're like, yo, ah, you call the super, on, like, yo, what the fuck? Yo, I put the blood dog yo, when I on my door, like you in, said. Nigga. You said you there was gonna be no plagues. I paid extra for no plagues, Come nigga. Come on, B. I thought there was amenities in this. Come on, man. It's darkness. It's leprosy and shit, nigga. Shit, I got wow. boils. Look at my boils, nigga. Oh, man. Look at the boils on my fucking face, B. Actually, if there was mad frogs, I'd like close the door and turn the thermostat up and start selling frog legs and shit. Make that shit. Ooh, <laughs> make that shit. You know, man, just, steam like, frog legs. Just come through the train selling steam frog oh, legs. Man, like yo, just take, I'm, <laughs> I'm selling frog. I'm selling. I'm selling steam frog legs for my basketball team. <laughs> That's where they gotta get more artisanal and gotta sell shit that you can't. Like fruit stacks is cool, but I'm just saying, like yo, yo. come through with like a fennel wrap or something. Expand shit. the expand your palate. Imagine they could good, come through with like good. a big smoothie machine, just like knocking strollers over and shit, making strollers. <laughs> fucking smoothie getting on niggas because you put the top on. Damn. <laughs> Get fucking strawberry eye shit. You screaming. Fuck. Strawberry burns, nigga. Strawberry I'm taking burns. a suitcase full of frogs to Sammy's. You know what I'm saying? And selling them out of the, like in front of the restaurant. Are you? Yeah, that's the plan. Oh. I turn the thermostat up to 880, which would infuriate both of my parents. Mm hmm. Cook the frogs, put them in a suitcase, and then just go out to City Island and sell them. Like how niggas sell the water by Bay Plaza, like in the little cooler. Like, yo, we got dollar water. I'll be like, yo, I got dollar frog legs. What's up? That'll you work. Know what I'm saying? It should. I hope so because that's what I'm bank. That's what I'm. You know, that's my uh, startup. Hey, frog dot frogger dot com. Frogger. Frogs directly to your door. To you, what do you do with the rest of it? You just can't just like pull off the frog legs, just leave the rest of the frog. You can just throwing that shit in the back you, like a mango seed. You can just throw it. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm you can doing. Chuck that shit out the window. <laughs> Fucking sanitation right you up. You got yo, sir. Sir, you can't be throwing half a frog outside. I'm like, yo. I'm definitely going to the community board meeting and complaining about that shit. This thing is this 
nigga waste the frog, your honor. <laughs> uh, so the frog was like, hi, I'm Jessica Huntington here, live on the scene where the Kid Marrow is selling frog legs and apparently discarding the rest of the remains. Peter's not having that shit. Yo. Peter, like, you got They run up and... They're you, like, first of all, they're going to be like, yo, first of all, here's 12 mushrooms that taste just like frogs. Please go vegan. <laughs> Please. Nobody wants that shit. Fuck out of here. Ah, uh, shit. You're not going to convince nobody. Beef alert. Beef alert. We need we need the alarm. We need the alarm. The newest beef, the new track just dropped. Oh shit. Okay? Because if you've been following, you remember Kanye just with Kanye. No, wait, what was it? On a Kanye track, Pusha T took the shot at Drake. Mm -hmm. Drake responded with the freestyle. Then Pusha T came back and was like, You sir are hiding a child. Then Drake did like an album, and everyone forgot about all that shit. Yeah. But caught in the crossfire was one Steve Potato Head Harvey. He got flamed unnecessarily because Pusha said Drake's father dresses like Pusha T, like Steve Harvey. And Pusha, Steve Harvey has responded. Oh, shit. Care less. Man, they rapping about you. Uh, what's, what's his name? Trick. Pusha T. Who the fuck is that? <laughs> Push your T cracked on you in the rap song. But f push your T. <laughs> <laughs> he says something about you. Who? Push your T. <laughs> push your T, you know what you gotta do. Push your T, you know what you gotta do. I want you in the booth right now. Yeah. And this guy. Yo. And this fucking potato looking nigga. Yo. Bring it to him. I mean. If the fucking shot of him shirtless like a like a fucking honey glazed chicken tender did it end him, I don't think Pusha T could end him. Pusha T could. Pusha T, you know Pusha T got dirt on Steve Harvey and shit. Like, come on. Pusha T got. Pusha T is like the fucking. He's the he's the boss of rap. We need we need and we the streets need more Pusha T. He's like, hunty, let me tell you about Steve. Because listen, Drake never really fully responded. Like every time, it was just always in the back of your head. Like, damn, this guy makes good daddy music. Yeah, <laughs> go see kid, nigga. Uh, was that a double album he dropped? His last one was it Drake? Yeah, nah. uh, it, was it seemed like a double album. There was, was a lot a... of, but all the songs kind of sounded the same. But you know, hey, hey, if you if you if you like that mediocre shit, I mean, that's all good. He came out and like you said, Pusha T did this. He didn't respond. He just dropped his album. Everybody completely forgot about it. Yeah. Or, What's the resale on the Pusha T Adidas? Like, I don't know. Like, it's it's hard to like push. It, like, you know how niggas say like, "Yo, you won the battle, but I won the war." Mm -hmm. Like the Nas, like, "Yo, Nas won the battle of Ether versus Takeover, but Jay Z ultimately won the war because he's the most successful person." Blah 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 right. blah blah. I feel like Pusha T won that battle, and Drake is ultimately winning the war. Yeah, like, basically. You know what I'm saying? Like he's just like, nigga, whatever, okay. Like you you're like all the yo, hip hop, hip hop, yo, we wanna hear bars, nigga. You know what I'm saying? They 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 all like petered out after like a week. You know what I'm saying? And then Drake came with the fucking Shiggy Challenge and it was a wrap. Pretty much. Yeah. Oh shit, Carter Five, yeah. My nigga Lil Wayne finally dropped it four years later. Yeah. We was waiting yeah. for it. I heard it's good. Haven't had a chance to listen to it. I need Young to hit that Moolah. lighter flick. Young Moolah, baby. Lil Wayne. Shout out to Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne went from dope to whack to back to dope. Yeah. It's very, Shut very in. tricky. Very hard to pull off nowadays. Yo, he went from bling bling to like abstract, to like wild drug infused music to now he's like spitting bars again. So shout out to him. Yeah. He went up and down and back. You know what I'm saying? Ebbs and flows. You know what I'm saying? But it comes and it goes, you know what much what like Ganja Burns. Yeah, you know I mean, oh, he's man. doing much better than most child stars, though. Like, like who? I mean, I can't even like. Aren't most child stars like dead or some shit or real fucked up? What is Drew Barrymore doing right now? Uh, I don't Coke? even. Does Coke? she even count as a child star? She's like sixty now or some shit. Yeah, yeah. Like she's been she's been older longer than she's been younger or some shit like that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> How old is Drew Barrymore? Drew Barrymore has got to be... 40, 40, f uh, six. Uh, 43. Oh, damn, yeah, I thought. So shout to her shout for to being her. 43. And do it, yay, 10 years old. That you takes know, balls. I wonder what happened to the orphan that got adopted before Annie. <laughs> <laughs> this has got to be whack. Yeah, like they just picked her up out the fucking orphanage, and then this nigga Daddy Warbucks, Warbucks just drove came up like, after the big body Bentley. Like, oh shit, I could have had that one. All right, come with me to your new mansion. Yo, come on, Annie, let's go, let's go. Yo, 
Jay Z is gonna sample this in a couple of years. You're gonna, it's gonna give you a, a rebirth. It's gonna be beautiful. You're gonna get a new run on Broadway. It's gonna be dope. It's a hard knock life. You know what I'm saying? Will Smith is gonna play good, for you. It's gonna be controversial. That's a good. Uh, that's a good sample. Your man Elon Musk with the SEC fraud investigation and stock is dropping. If you want to cop Tesla stock, now is the time. No, actually, no, because it's probably dropping because people know it's uh, about to be a riz app for the yeah. guy. But, I mean, and then also don't go buy a Tesla now because, like, I don't know if you're going to get parts and labor and <laughs> good luck. Get a software update nigga, and shit. Might as well buy a Saturn now, nigga. That shit ain't happening, man. Damn, see? <laughs> See That's what happens? happens when you do when you do Tom Fullery, it comes back to you. Yeah, bro. Should have just sat there and as Nicki Minaj said, he ate his grits to freedom. Mm-hmm. To freedom. Damn. Yeah. Elon Musk. My pops always told me, don't quit your job until you got a new one, bro. And don't fucking go on Twitter and get Twitter fingers and talk about your all your fucking movements, you know what I'm saying, before they moved. You fucking yeah. weird thing. You know what I'm saying? Not teach us about the hairline. That's the only thing that can save you. The what? The, about his hairline. Uh, the restorative properties of, of his hairline. But white dudes, have? white dudes can get hair plugs. I, we talked about this yesterday. White dudes can get hair plugs and it looks perfectly fine. White Hair plugs are not for ethnic hair, B. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not. You know what I'm saying? So st- let that dream go, B. Like, just shave your head. I did it. You know what I'm saying? Put the sh- Take the guard off. Just buzz your shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, just give up. You Be sure to mean? use a bevel. Be sure to use a bevel. Yeah, so keep it black. Yeah, bumps. Uh, speaking of keeping it black, we need another update on the white people soul food bracket. All right, casserole is still going strong, but someone was trying to tell me cold hot dogs is something. And I feel like that's racist. I don't. Cold I don't see dogs. white people eating cold hot dogs at Thanksgiving. Mm, no. So you know, call us up two two three nine seven ninety seven. Whatever your white person food of choice is. Also, you can't say rolls. Rolls is not like a food. Like no one's just sitting down and just like eating a roll, rolls? man. Like no one's whole meal consists of a roll unless i'm mistaken and y'all people in the midwest are just eating one big fucking popeye's biscuit for 80 y'all just mad dry with a cup of milk (sighs) maybe i don't know it makes perfect sense i don't know yo let's just have some bread and milk because those are the only things our stomachs can tolerate yo is this biscuit gluten-free all right let's get it like i don't yeah no I, I still stand by, like, I think it's regional, too. Like, I think if you go to, like, the Midwest, mm-hmm. they eat, like, more garbage shit. Like, they'll put, like, bacon on a pizza and pepperoni and sausage. And I mean, that's pretty much half everywhere, Half a block though. of cheese and shit. And if you go to Williamsburg, everybody's eating hummus. Like, literally. Like, mainlining hummus. All right. So we got to get more white people soul food. How do white people eat lasagna? Is it regular? They make regular lasagna? It depends. Like... Italian people take great pride in this shit. Other white people, like, they just, like, boil noodles, over boil noodles, throw some... I guess that's the distinction we got to make. So we're going to break the bracket up to different... Eh, nah, I don't feel like doing all that work like that. Yeah, it's a lot of I work. don't really care. You know yeah. what? The official food for white people is casserole. Go for it. Tell other white people. And yep. uh, you're welcome. The Bodega yeah, Boys have said it. Put on a t-shirt. I enjoy casserole. Casserole. Yep. Change your names to, like, casserole, casserole Bay. No. Casserole. Uh, I want Casanova to change his name to Casserola. Casserola. Yeah. Casserola. Punch you in your pot, motherfucker, with that flavor. Casserola 2X, nigga. I ain't cuffing up. Put them Grand's biscuits at the bottom. Make sure you spray the anti spray stick shit. I would watch. Unless you cook it I in would the watch a Casanova cooking show. Yo, what That up? shit would be great. What him, the fuck up? Him and Rachel Ray. Yeah. Yo, it's Rachel, like, yo, pass me that pass me that E V O O. That should be great. Know I'm what I'm saying? The fuck out of that. Just for all the housewives that are home in the daytime. Like skip the It's not just housewives. There's also men. There's also non binary non binary non binary conforming people at home. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever Gender reason you at home, if you work at night, whatever. if you just unemployed, whatever. If you got fruit, if you got the FL studio lined up on your MacBook, you're just you know sitting there for nine hours making a whack ass beat. You know and you just saying? EQ in the drum. Yeah. And your neighbor's like it's enough. The shit's whack. That shit's whack. Hey, no, you could do this. Hey, no, hey, no, hey. No, don't download no yo, samples. The shit is fam. whack. You cannot save that. Yo, listen, listen. Hit the X. If it asks you if you want to save the project, hit discard. Yo, this shit's garbage. This shit's trash. All right, this I know trash. you took the template that says Electro House and you just changed a couple of drums on fam. it and turned down the cymbal. You switched You're that hi hat. That's the demo track, nigga. That shit is whack. That whack shit off the fucking airways, B. I'm going to call 301 file noise complaint. Nigga just sit there smoking five blunts back to back, nodding his head like, yo, this Yeah, this shit is fire, this nigga. Shit tra- you know what? I know it. Nigga scroll through mad fucking menus to add one triangle like, ting. <laughs> 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 what the fuck is this? Shout out to Fruity Loops and the, and the packs. 
Yeah. Those are my favorite. You got to get the samples now. You got to get it. And you got to have the heavy horns. You can't have like the, the little fucking whack. The little tinny electronic shit. He's got the little MIDI fucking Atari horns. Like, oh, I just saved Zelda. Nah, nigga, you need the fucking big horns. Like, the shit the truck have on the highway and scare the shit out of you. Like, like, oh, shit. I personally, I like that horn they do at hockey games after you score. Like, that that fucking, that's a good white guy horn. That's (laughs) that's the noise Luke Voigt makes when he nuts. He's like, (laughs) just a straight, uh, listen. He's got. He made his own. He has his own sexual position. I, I, I bet you. Oh yeah. The weight. The the Luke Duke. Yeah, listen, I hit. I just, so you know. What I said I bent over. You know what I did? <laughs> I had to hit it with the weight. Hey. We gotta make a dance for that little kids. Like bent over, bent over, bent over. Voight, 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 Voight. Do the void. Do the void now. Do the void now. Everybody do the dance. Void sounds like what it sounds like right before you spit on the pussy. You're like void. Void. Ding. You gotta have that like like that little cartoon dingy like you just said. Like you just spit in a spittoon. Like. Ding! Voight. Straight Looney Tunes. Isn't Voight like a pair of... Was that a pair like of Like the volleyball. It's yeah. a volleyball? Yeah. Voight. Oh, yeah, that was the volleyball... What's his name was talking to in... Um, uh, Castaway. Castaway, yeah, which is a fake so, because he would not have kept... He would not kept a uh, that basketball. That would have been inflated. He would have deflated it and turned it into a Susie. He would have fucked it hard. I, I mean, yeah. Um, what else was there to fuck on that island? Like there probably was just coconut. mad trees. Or coconut. coconut. Probably could, he probably oh, could catch yeah. like a fish or some shit. Yo, had, if you no, not for nothing. If you put a, a hole in a coconut, he yeah. had mad rope. Remember, he tried to hang himself. Actually, oh, no, I have actually never seen. I've never seen, I have never seen the movie. I have never seen the movie, and you're not gonna ruin it for me now. So oh, you get out of here with your facts. No, that is an unnecessary movie to see. The only necessary movies as a black person you need to see are Menace to Society, Boys in the Hood, Juice, uh, Belly. If you're a girl, just another girl on the IRT, so you know how to scam for abortions. And uh, 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 12 Years a Slave. Got to watch 12 Years a Slave. Just keep that battery in your back just in case Whitey acts up. (laughs) So you be like, next time you in a fucking board meeting and shit, they start talking to you a little hot. You flash back in your head like, did they beat that nigga with a chick? Oh, Oh, what? Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, guess who's not working oh. Saturday, my nigga? Oh, okay. All right. Okay, you gonna do my man Chipotle Ojite like that? I not bet. Not having that. Not also, having I think that. you could watch the. Uh, oh, Black Panther. You gotta see Black Panther, though the cartoon one, not the actual one about the real Black Panthers. That one's od boring because it's historical. Nothing historical is fun. Watch the new one. It's comical. Yeah, it's good. Takes place in Wakanda. It's good. You know what I'm saying? Don't watch Infinity Wars because he's done like you show. Infinity War shows what happens when gentrification hit Wakanda. You see how quickly? They let one white person in, and the whole shit went to... One week later, one week later, the whole town was destroyed. Destroyed. I know other cartoon nerds like, that's not a continuity era, these. It wasn't one year later. But, you know, you'd be all right. You'd be all right. It's just a cartoon, man. It's just a cartoon. Grow up, dog. It's just a cartoon, man. Those Mylar bags can't save you, bro. Bro. Gotta let it go. Live, live your, you live your life. Live your life. Yeah. Also, shout out to Fortnite with the new Halloween season. This is like gonna sound like a ad. It's getting spooky on Fortnite. Now, actually, give uh, someone <laughs> donate me some VC money. I don't want to spend it myself because every time I go to play, my debit card is mad far away, and I do not feel like reaching for it. So, someone send me that so I could buy a skin and then get nerfed by a nine year old. Just put it in there uh, automatically. I, 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 I. Fucking played myself and put it in there automatically. And yeah, and not like trying it. to do that. You know what I'm saying? But you don't have any wild fucking children to run around and just run up a bill for no when you're not home. Nah, but uh, you know, niggas can hack your account and stuff. And also, you really shouldn't be spending money on virtual things. That's just stupid. That's that's basically the reverse of why our parents came to this country. That's like, kids. That is just a, so you might as well just burn money. That's, that's I literally that's told my kids burning that. money. I literally told my kids that. But you know what? I'm like, yo, you know what? Live your life. Fuck it. You get, also, you, the you, new you, wave you on Fortnite is to play without a skin or any of the modified weapons, so that way people think. You're a newbie, and then you could just like use like all the new skills and shit. Oh, oh! But they got a but the new Fortnite. You could turn into a ghost. You could pass through windows and shit. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Lot. Shout out to all the medical students who start playing at seven o'clock for half an hour. I see y'all. I don't know how I know your medical students, but y'all be, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> they be doing a lot with the forts. <laughs> nah, I got I got killed by like some NY. Uh, was it? Yo, NYU kids the other day. Like they was, <laughs> yes, and they beat the shit out your boy. No slurs. <laughs> oh man, huh? Were they polite? Uh, not really. They were not. They 
they shot me and then did that little dance over my corpse and I think they cheated back. Damn cornballs. And then they like dragged my corpse to the main square and defecated it and hung it off the bridge <laughs> and cut terrible. my genitals off, put it in my mouth. Damn. And I was like, why? <laughs> Epic Games, why would you add this mode to Fortnite? This that seems is terrible. a bit much. It was the Mogadishu edition. Fuck. Mogadishu. That's, that's right. For all my 90s kids out there. <laughs> I was like, like Mo Mogadishu. What? Everyone's like, wow. That's a, is that a Starbucks order? That's a Clinton. Like... That is a Clinton reference. <laughs> now, that was back at uh, Mogadishu it's when Somalia, they right? killed the three Blackwater uh, guys. Is that where... Is was that, it Mogadishu? Mogadishu? Isn't that Black Hawk Down was based on? Uh, right? Was it? Or was that Somalia? I don't remember. Black Hawk Down. That was based on... Black Hawk Down was Mogadishu. Mogadishu? Was Mogadishu? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Shout out to Josh Hartnett. I wonder what you're doing right now besides drugs. Damn, a lot of shit happened. In, I was like, oh, this is look up at Mogadishu. They was like, Google was like, yo, shit happens in Mogadishu every day. You got to be more specific than that. <laughs> oh, that was the June. Uh, oh, yeah. That was oh, in June 2016 when they was wilding in the hotels. I remember I watched that live on uh, TV and it was like, shoot, the shit looked like GTA. And oh, man. The world is wild. <laughs> yo! We, that's what we need. We need a show. We just be war correspondents. Just go like fuck the places and shit. And just, like, just ride on niggas? drones and shit. No, just take pictures. Just take pictures. <laughs> just take I, pictures and shit. I like how niggas go into like these war. Like I don't understand. Like and I like look, break it. Like if anybody has any knowledge of the subject, please break it down to me. Mm -hmm. How these fucking press people go into like these war torn countries, like where it's like rebel faction versus like you know state army, blah blah blah, whatever. This mad civil unrest mm -hmm. and mo motherfuckers are just running in between gunshots with like a little vest that says press on it because they gotta get like, the story out there. Like, <laughs> like that, I mean, that it pee, that pee ain't gonna save you from a slug, my nigga. It don't. It doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't behoove you unless you're doing war crimes. It doesn't make any sense to shoot at a reporter because like you want to get the word out like why your side is fighting and why this side is fighting. <laughs> so I mean, like, why you're not gonna buck at a press person? It also <laughs> What if you just out there like yo fuck it nigga I'm trying to get a kill like I mean like, I'm trying to clap you somebody. might be you might be fighting the wrong war like <laughs> fam, I also if you shoot a press person no matter what side you are you are automatically on the wrong side now yeah, like you're getting yeah, you're getting international scorn it's not worth it I'm but sure I, there's mad people that was about to clap a press person and somebody was like yeah don't do that don't chill chill chill, 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 you, chill, chill, chill you wild you and then it was like fuck it anyway Brah! got him. Sounds like a fucking intro to a Mob Deep song. They need that in a new Call of Duty. You should just be like a war correspondent. Just running around taking pictures of shit. <laughs> like Pacifist Pokemon. Mode. Pokemon Snap. Yeah. Gotta Call get them Duty. all. <laughs> Gotta get them all. In the future, we're gonna fight our wars through Call of Duty. It's gonna be great. In the future, we're gonna fight our wars through Pokemon Snap. Just take yeah. pictures. Of just take pictures. Of Yo, I got an embarrassing picture of you. I win. I caught you sleeping. I win. <laughs> Yo, work. this guy has a boat around the train. I win. We win the war. And sign the treaty. The next war will be... Oh, shit. Shout out to uh, everyone in D.C. copping the denim foams today. Hey, hey. <laughs> denim right foams. Denim foams. How are those sturdy? Oh, every foam is sturdy. I mean, like, the ba the like foams are ba they're made out of the same materials like honeycombs or some shit like that. Oh, shit. And when the world ends, the only thing left behind are going to be roaches and foam posits. Oh, my God. And aliens are going to be like, God damn. These are some chill modes. <laughs> they're, like, <laughs> they're, they're gonna find Wale and they're like, oh shit. They're gonna reanimate him. He's gonna start spitting. And they're like, oh shit. <laughs> Shout out to Wale. That's the homie. You know what I'm saying? Yo! Oh, wow. Yo, sh yo, for real. Shout out to Wale. Shout out to the whole DMV. You know what I'm saying? Speaking of DMV, I gotta go and get my fucking ID changed. It's weird because in order to get. ID at the DMV. I thought you had to go bring in your ID, but apparently you could do it online now. It didn't always used to be there. You know, after September 11th, everything changed. Because <laughs> I was about to come through with like the six pieces of uh, identification. And I was like, I don't have six pieces of identification with my new address. So how do you get ID without the pieces of paper that say the new address? Then I found out UPS you, don't give a shit. Yeah, no. They will just release your shit to anybody. Uh, yeah, they're no. like, what's your name? I'm like Adolf Hitler. They're like, hey, sign here. Let's just let you yeah, sign okay. anything, man. <sighs> we need better no, actually we don't it's actually very fun to just get packages and shit now and I'm not even ID. Uh, I, don't, I don't even care. like the UPS guy that delivers my shit does not give a single fuck he'll just like open the garage throw the shit in there close it be like alright peace scribble some nonsense on his little pad and keep it moving shout out to him I don't even know your name but shout out to you you know yeah, and then you could just use the app to just, you don't have to get a signature and shit. You know what I'm saying? It's very fun. Yeah, <laughs> it's a lot. Technology. Hey, yo, technology. That's a throwback. You know what I'm saying? I need 50 Cent to do something. 
Musical. He's hanging out with Takashi now. So oh, God. I guess that's fun. That's oh, a God. That's something he can get into. I mean, I'm not <sighs> I don't judge, but I mean Takashi, I don't know. The people seem to enjoy hanging out with him. What if he Fifty out- think I'm stupid? I ain't stupid. I don't know if he's fun to hang out with. I wonder how often he hangs out with uh, 50 Cent. It's a good question. On the regular! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I get that one. I get that one. <laughs> yo! That dude, yo, that, yo, he, I, look, look, there's, there's two theories I have on this guy. He either masterfully trolled everybody in the whole entire planet or, like, he really is a dumbass. Like, Who? Well, Takashi. Like, I, I don't get it. Like, I don't, like, it, like, he went on Angel Martinez and was like, I don't, I don't give a shit. Like, I'll just go in the booth and say whatever. Like, I don't care. Yeah, he's out here chilling, though. He's getting him smacks. He's getting him checks. Getting him smacks. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to you. Yo, mm-hmm. shout out to Will Smith. It was his birthday, and he bungee jumped into the Grand Canyon. That wow. is That is a Will that's Smith. That's some rich shit. That's some Will Smith that's shit. That's when you got too much money. You don't You don't even know what else to do. That's like, even C.C. Sabathia is like, you wildin'. You wildin', That's man. too much. You wildin'. I threw it a nigga head, but you fucking over here. Wow. wow. Sky, into the skydiving with no parachute. I wouldn't even do I would just like get lazy and do that through like virtual reality or some shit. I'm not leaving yeah. my house. Bro, I gotta get like, a helicopter. Too much could go wrong. Yeah. You got kids, the Will. You can't. They got like, oh, like man. That. They gotta, got the fucking uh, what do you call it? They got the indoor skydiving now. You can do that shit for the, if you want to fucking. Yeah, I don't know. If that's the same. Pants. I mean, if you want to really skydive, you don't want to be like yo, think like, eat like four edibles and go into that shit. It's the same thing. I like, mean, <laughs> like it's literally like that might be true. I, I'm not I, listen. I, if of all the things I jump out of, dog, a, a plane thirty thousand feet in the air is not high on my list. Like I, I'm gonna be real, not on some scared shit, but on some like yo, why would I even take this chance? What's the, point? What's the point for a brief adrenaline rush? Nigga, if I could do that, I could just wear a red bandana and Mitchell projects. They're going to be fine. Like, <laughs> like if I want an adrenaline rush, fuck out of here. Niggas hopping out planes. You know what I'm saying? You got to hop out a plane once in your life, though. Like, just, just if I hop out a plane, it got to be some like extra wild shit. And it got to be like a company. Like, it got to be like a group thing. I, I'm not jumping out of plane dolo. Like, it has to be like a strong lineup. Like, it got to be me, you, like Diddy, fucking Obama. You know what I'm saying? Like, Kevin Knox. You know what I'm saying? Like, and like a, an assortment of people, like Erica Badu. Like, and we all hold hands and do that stupid formation that white people do when they skydive mm-hmm. and they turn into like a star or whatever the fuck. And then we let each other go and we spin around and we do all the cool shit and then it goes viral. You know what I'm oh, okay. That's never going to happen. But, uh, yeah. pie in the sky. It's a, it's <laughs> you know a you know nice saying? little visual right there. Dream big, dream big. It's the only dreams you can. If you, you know don't dream big, you got nothing big. Erica Badu pulls her tooth string thing instead of her parachute string by accident. Like, <laughs> chaos ensues. It's crazy. Shit. Niggas are skydiving. I, I never, I never, nigga, I'm never going to skydive. Ever. I don't care. Well, I see the thing about skydiving, you like, it doesn't just sneak up on you. Like, if you don't ever want to skydive, it's not like you're going to wake up one day and have to skydive. <laughs> I mean, we're in TV now, so motherfuckers might be like, hey, I got a great idea. Let's skydive. I mean, sometimes you got to get the shot, bro. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes you got to get the brush. Sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes bruh. that's the difference between, that's the difference between, you know, making a 78 million opening weekend and your shit going double styrofoam. <laughs> <laughs> See, you can't catch a brick in theaters. You want to look at just, you want to be like, yo. Fucking Jesus and Miro jumping out the window made 120 million this weekend. Yo, or do you shit. want the movie Jesus alone jumps out uh, airplane while Miro watches and that shit opens to fucking <laughs> fucking hundred dollars domestic in <laughs> fucking Poland? Is that what you want? It's just a shot of you getting smaller and smaller. And me in the plane, like God damn. This He's like, bigger. I ain't doing that shit. And it's this just says Finn. This thing is wild. <laughs> <laughs> so how Tiffany Haddish is in it? <laughs> she She's has like, to be in everything. Y'all really bugging. Like y'all really about to jump out of plane. Like y'all uh, really, really go. Like y'all really going extra hard. At the it. last minute, the studio calls me. It's like, um, so uh, we screen tested it and uh, we found audiences enjoyed Kevin Hart more than you. So <laughs> you replaced me with Kevin Hart, but it's still called Jesus jumps out the plane without Miro. <laughs> They got to use mad Apple boxes. And then they got the last minute. They're like, yeah, so uh, Miro, um, yeah, The Rock schedule freed up. Uh, we could just turn that shit into Jumanji. I'm like, this ain't even the same, same movie. movie. What the fuck is this 
this shit? What kind of rewrite is this? Nigga? They jump out the they jump out a plane onto a big ass lion. What? what there's is, no what? lions. It, what the fuck what is, is wrong this with y'all, man? Yo, y'all nigga said light notes. Wow. This is not light notes. This is a whole different movie. Breaking news. Kevin Hart's in The Rock's new movie, Fake Jumanji 3, opens to $320 million worldwide. What, is, what the fuck? The Rock can't lose, man. Rock can't lose. That nigga can't. He don't miss, he just bro. be in movies. He, he don't just, even he don't even have character names. He just be like The Rock. Yeah. The Rock and shit. Yeah. The same way Denzel be in movies with vehicles and transportation, The Rock just be in shit. It, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Just, you, just, just you'd be, like, you be like, yo, The Rock, the Denzel movie where he flipped the plane. The Rock, the Denzel movie with the trains and shit. You got The Rock saved his family from there's the building. Two, there's two train movies with You Denzel, got the yeah. fucking The Rock uh, uh, fighting a monkey. You got The Rock uh, when he comes back from war. The, yeah, there's The Rock. Uh, uh, I think there's even a Rock. Yo, he just needs to hit a rom com, bro. And he got all his bases covered. Like, did, did he, he not do a rom com yet? I think he might have. Yeah, right? That was LeBron with Amy Schumer. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't do a rom-com yet. Yo, yeah. Rock, do a rom-com, B. We be in But it. they always have... He, I think he tries to stay away from rom-coms because they always like have him with white chicks instead of uh, like ethnic chicks. And it's, the optics are odd because he doesn't want to, you know... Oh, you know. uh, yo, stay I strong. I mean, listen, listen, Rock, we understand. You were strong black brothers. Stay strong, <laughs> You're getting black the white man checks, so don't fuck that shit up. Stay strong, I got an order of Ambi coming right now from Amazon Prime, all right? <laughs> <laughs> About to be the color of fucking AirPods, you heard? <laughs> Jesus, good. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm trying to get... I'm trying to lie and before the Christmas season, I'm trying. I'm trying to be next to Martha Stewart, whipping up a batch of fucking candy lambs. Let's go. It's gonna be, it's gonna be with Martha Stewart looking like fucking Sean King and shit. Like, yo, yeah. what happened to Jesus? I don't know. I like I'm bleaching. Yeah. If they show anything up below my neck, it's just yo. like mad chocolate. Then my bleach. Look, look just like Vibes Cartel. He's like, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> well, they all free the world, boss. Come in earlier, get, ask your son, like, yo, do uh, you think you could play this uh, pro bleaching playlist tonight at Locksmith? <laughs> <laughs> I just need people to know yo, it's play, not so bad. Just play Demo Bleach on loop. Uh, but just that part where it says Demo Bleach. Like, don't, don't play the whole song. Vashti's like, you look different. I was like, it's a light. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, it's <laughs> like, the lighting in here. It's a lighting in here. Lighting yeah. here. I'm, using, I'm using the Apple True Colors. She's like, are you, are, you, are you sure? I think you're bleaching. No, oh, I'm not bleached. <laughs> I'm bleached because I'm a proud man. Just go mad bleach. Bleaching, <laughs> uh, bleaching in the morning, bleaching in the evening, bleaching in the summertime. When bleaching's on the table, you can do bleaching anytime. The guy showed the Jamaica curse, and it's just people entering the rooms like it's like a sitcom from the 90s, but with a big thing of bleach. Like, oh shit. Oh. It's family matters with bleach. That's yo, all it is. Yo. <laughs> Every step you take, you will bleach. Do no no no. Fucking Steve Urkel coming to the fucking living room and knock over mad bleach. Be like, did I do that? Got any cake soap? <laughs> <laughs> Vibes Cartel is Carl Winslow. That should be a fantastic show. Because uh, the mother on Family on Family Matters already kind of dressed like a West Indian auntie. So, oh, the mom? Keep, oh, for and sure. then out of nowhere, her sister moved in with a kid. If that ain't the most West Indian shit, oh, and they yeah. never. And then she, not only that, she had the she had like an attitude. Like yo, you the, this ain't even your house. This ain't in your house. <laughs> you ain't here with another a little kid that looks like Lionel Richie, and now you going to OD dates and shit, leaving yeah. me with this little li- ah. Yeah, she was wild. Yeah, he was always coming in like doing little kick spins and shit. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> in 2018, I I'm got my beef about family matters. Yo, where's Richie? Richie will come through and fucking you up, nigga. Yo, Richie, right now. <laughs> what's Richie doing right now? He's probably some. He's mad like, like, right MMA now, right? Fighter and shit. Like, look at messy Google. It's like family matters now. <laughs> yeah. Your man, your man. All right, your man look like Felon Bay a little. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, no, nah, that nigga. He's like, no. He don't. He can either beat That's me up or him. get. He can either beat me up or get me like a very nice house under the subprime equity. <laughs> like, yo, <laughs> like, yo I run Remax. He's like, hey man, if you lock in right now, I can lock you in at three point one percent. Amazing uh, rate, an amazing rate. Shout out to him. Shout out to everybody happen. working. Working is fun because yeah, you can right. pay your bills. Not it working is. is fun too. Shout out to all my scammers out there. Shout out to all my people out there yeah. waking up. You about to? You got like four debit cards. Yeah. Shout out to you all about the to scammers. take the Uber to the mall. You looking around where the surveillance cameras are. You going to the register closest to the door just in yeah, case shit me. gets a little funky. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh. Yo, you got you talk real greasy to the fuck in the Target security. Like, yo, you ready to die for this shit, my nigga? Cause I am. I am, motherfucker. <laughs> they just pull out a knife he just purchased. Like, yo, you just trying to fucking open it out the plastic and shit. Like, yo, uh, hold on, go to our second. Get back, yo, yo, get back, my nigga. I'm yo, about to, yo, yo, someone I'm, pass me the scissors. Yo, oh, yo, sh- let oh. me get this four inch knife out, my nigga. I'm gonna come. 
nigga. Wait till I get this apple peeler out the package, nigga. It's, I'm about to peel the shit out of you. Again, shout out to all my tar- oh, shout out to my ghetto targets that the wheels lock as soon as you get outside the front door. Yeah. Why do we have to live like this Bronx terminal market? Why? Why? Why, <laughs> Why? Why cannot we be trusted? Why? I have a TV show. Why would I still at least let my shopping cart go to the curb, man? Also, no one there uses Uber. Everyone uses a guy named Uber that just be sitting in. Oh, you yeah, got yeah, like yeah. a fucking got a camera with no back, no back, no, <laughs> no back seats. No back seats, no bumper. How are you, you standing in the back of a, a fucking Camry like that's just a subway car? <laughs> They're just holding on to the fucking hand. Like it's the shit. M8 and shit. And shout out to all my taxi drivers that be like, how much you pay usually? Like, nah, nigga, that's not how it works. When I go to Uber, it tells me exactly how much it is, and it comes off the car. We're not finagling the bagel. Oh, we not man. we not bartering here. Oh. You're not gonna be like, oh no, it's a lot of traffic, and then put your hand back like for more. Nah, nah, no. yo, that's the be- that was like the biggest finesse of like watch the heights like in the early aughts was like jumping in a cab. Like I would go from the heights all the way into the Bronx. Like I say, all the way into the Bronx, like it's a wild journey. And homie would always ask, yo, how much do you usually pay? And I'm like, yo, like $10. It's like a $25 ride. Mm-hmm. And homie would be like, 10 peso. I want to, I want to know more. And homie would take me home for $10. Man, you just got to finesse it. Like, now it's just like, niggas got like, yo, you can fucking share your ride. Now you can't even be like, lie to your shorty and be like, yo, I'm like 10 minutes away. Like, yo, uh, uh, uh. Yeah, she's like, send it over. She's like, yo, send that fucking share, nigga. I know you know how to use a fucking phone, stupid. How to turn it to you, Sandy? I don't know where. That's wild. That was Heather? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, send me the fucking location, stupid. I know you on fucking Route 80, nigga, in traffic. Stop. <laughs> You're in the Lincoln Tunnel. I can see you. <laughs> the the blue circle is getting mad big. That means the accuracy <laughs> is not accurate. Mm. Damn, Tesla. Oh, man. That's a wrap for Tesla. It's quiet for your boy. I'm gonna copy X. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I can't copy X. Damn, see, you don't know. Should you? Should you not? Nah, you just stick buy. with the classics, bro. Stick you with buy. the classics. You can't go wrong with an SL56, man. Actually, I want to get a. I want to get just the fucking the battery and the engine from the Tesla. And just give it to my father and let him make a plane out of it or some shit. I got mad free time and shit. I give that shit to my dad. I'm gonna make a house out of this shit. I'm like, yeah, how'd you yo. make a house out of a car engine? He's like, he's gonna like just don't power, worry, baby. Don't worry, baby. power oil Puerto Rico with that shit in insanity baby. mode. I'm like, right, that's cool. Yo, that's shout cool. out to out on a serious tip. I want to give a shout out to Bad Bunny for performing on Fallon and bringing awareness to the situation in Puerto Rico. Still. You know what I'm saying? Because Donald Trump don't give a fuck. You, the U.S. government don't give a fuck. So yeah, Donald Trump was like, "That's old shit. Stop bringing that shit up. Stop bringing that shit up." Like, <laughs> he's like, oh. "Yo, he's like, yo, you st- not for nothing." He's okay, like, this is the only time I'm ever gonna, I'm ever going to support Donald Trump. You're not really trying. Listen, Donald Trump was like, "Yo, I'm not doing that." <laughs> Puerto Rico is the dishes in the sink. Oh. Donald Trump is your roommate, and you're <sighs> like, "Yo, you were supposed to take care of this." And he's like, "I'm not doing that. Nothing is going to make Donald Trump do those dishes." <laughs> your man is putting new dishes on top of the dishes. <sighs> your man eating soup in the dirty bowl, and he put the plastic wrap over uh, the dirt on it, and he's eating it. That's how committed he is that's to not washing the dishes. That's y'all, that's y'all little president. That's y'all little, that's y'all little nasty little, that's y'all little asshole president. You know Donald Trump, when he pees, he be peeing all over the place, and none of it goes in the toilet. No, and he don't even wipe it down. Yeah, that nigga don't give a shit. He just probably drops the lid, like, yeah, fuck it. Like, Next fuck person's it. problem. No, I don't care. Uh, that shit leak into the back until it's turned orange and stink. That should be mad sticky, too. You got to, like, really dig in with the toilet uh, paper, with the two-ply. Nasty. Yeah, nasty motherfucker. Nasty. You, can't even, you got to get a Clorox wipe and shit. Ooh, ooh, la de da. Look at rich guy over here. Clorox wipes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nigga, it was just like $3 a beach. Clorox wipes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I just steal paper from the library and wet it. How about that? <laughs> That's how I clean my house now. <laughs> Use that wild fucking jail toilet paper. Just take all your skin off. Like, ah! <laughs> you're like your girl's like you've been you using a loofah like nah nigga I was locked up <laughs> shout out to everyone oh shit y'all don't know about life what was it life boy soap was that the one life uh, boy soap? was it life boy or laughing boy Irish spring the jail soap life boy soap that's the one with like yeah it has fennel in it well it doesn't have fennel in it anymore but yeah, that's the one they used to give you, like... So basically, you shit. you wash yourself with this shit, and you come out smelling like an Italian sausage? Nah, this shit, not <laughs> not fennel, like... Oh, fentanyl, excuse me. Fentanyl, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Two very different things. I'm not putting either of those in my food. I'll put a little fennel, not so much fentanyl. 
No, and then it was like I forgot what soap it was, but it had like sand in it, and it was like I guess for mechanics for uh, but uh, microdermabrasion. Uh, yeah, but it was like I guess <laughs> after you change the oil and shit, you had to get the shit off your hands and shit. And my father was like, "Yo, if this shit works good for cleaning your hands after working on the car, I would just buy mad bricks of this, and we're just going to use it for everyday soap." And no one in my family had any kind of top layer of skin. That shit was the worst. Oh, <laughs> are you talking about the orange shit? Uh, yeah. Yo, my dad had a jug of that shit in the back of his van, bro. I'm like, what is this for, dog? That's for, this, yeah, to get the grease. It's like grease off and shit. Smoothie? But that should take your hand. That should take all the skin off your... Nigga, that's like a facial for your hands. Yep. And I remember <laughs> as kids, you know, allegedly, you could use that to clean your hands of gunpowder residue. But you didn't hear that. From yeah. Me. If you want to know more about that, go listen yeah, to our illustrious good. episode yeah. of our podcast that we did with Tax on Free Homie. Yeah. So, there's a lot of gun talk on that. We might have to look, listen. There's, <laughs> there's like a lot of gun talk on that podcast, my friend. So don't hey, ever, <laughs> people grow. We people grow. A trigger finger grow too, nigga. Don't That's right. Don't fuck, fuck up, you. Don't fuck, you know what I'm saying? Nah, actually, no. I, I, if you ran up on me, I'm, I'm probably calling three one at this point. <laughs> um, listen, if you like, if you rob me right now, you're gonna be so disappointed because I am going down without a fight. And not only that, I'm like a community activist now, so I'll be like, brother, put the <laughs> gun away. P- please stop. You don't need to rob another please black stop. man. Do you need money? Take the money out my pocket. Don't do that. But before you take this money, let me ask yourself. Rather than money, wouldn't you like an experience? Mm-hmm. Better yet, a chance? Mm-hmm. Meet me at the community center tomorrow at 9 a.m. It's your first day, but it's not going to be your last day, bless brother. And he's like, shut nigga the fuck just, up. Nigga just standing there money, with the gun like, what the fuck? fuck are you talking about, nigga? Pow, 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 pow. This nigga. Like, Yo, I'm just, I'm just holding the gun. Pockets. I'm just holding the gun like, you know what? I know right now you want to spray. But I, nigga, put your head in my chest. Who are you about to pray? <laughs> you get down on one knee like Ray Lewis. <laughs> oh, Lord, I want you to remove the burdens from this brother. Yeah. All the time I'm praying, I'm trying to like flag over, flag down the undercover cop. Like, yo, yo, <laughs> this nigga got a burner. Yo. This nigga's trying to rob me. Yo. I'm on TV. I'm too cute for this shit. Yo, ah, pray, come on, brother, put your head down. Pray harder. Close your eyes. Look down to the. Yo, this nigga got a gun. Oh shit! Help me. I got robbed for Emmy. I can't get robbed again. I have a strategy for if anybody tries to run up on me when I'm coming at the mall, is just to jump in my car as fast as possible and just shug night the nigga like to death. All right, that's not so much a strategy as it is vehicular manslaughter. But, you know, <laughs> <laughs> what if you're under duress and you're scared for your life? Like, uh, only white women are allowed to be under <laughs> white women and cops. I wish your big ass would go into court talking about I was under duress. <laughs> They're like, who? He was fucking duress. Who's duress? Who was, who was who? Who? Why was he under her? Who? This six something nigga with Tim's on was under duress. Okay. The best way to know if you could get away with a crime: practice in your mind saying it to Judge Judy. <laughs> what her reaction would be. Go to Judge Judy's court and be like, yo, I'm suing for a million dollars pain and suffering because she had me under duress. She's just going to crunch her face up like, what the hell is duress? She's going to talk to the bailiff. That's uh, when you know uh, you. Hey, hey, you know what? Tell me the rest of your bullshit story. How about that? That's when you know you're fucked up when she starts cracking jokes with the fucking bailiff and yeah. shit. And the bailiff is just like, mm-hmm. he's like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. this guy's a fucking idiot. He a fool. He, he a fool. Like this motherfucker. With his pants on the ground. Pants on the ground. <laughs> Looking Look like, like a fool. fool. <laughs> what's, what, like, what, what's people's big deals? If people want to sag, let them sag. I say, if I want to bleach and sag, actually, no, that's like two major sins in the Jamaican barbershop. Oh my God. Did you know that Fortnite's cultural appropriation of African American hip hop dances has caused an outroar on social media platforms? We literally talked about that last week. <laughs> Everybody's talking about it. Everyone knows Ooh, about it. Fortnite's like, Fortnite's like, oh, guess what? Nothing you can do about it. So. Who cares? We're making a gajillion dollars a week. They're like, good. We're we gonna cracked do about the it. code. They're going to do the L dance in court. Like, ah, ah hold that. Hold that L, hold that. stupid. They should make a new dance. It's just them. Oh, they need to bring back class. If you Fortnite, if you stealing dances... You gotta steal hot dance. You gotta steal the Dame Dash dance from fucking Big Pimp and oh, that yeah, shit with the yeah, yeah the arm and deal shit. You gotta bring that shit yeah. back. You gotta bring the fucking G Dep special delivery shit. Oh man, the Harlem that shit. shit. Oh boy. Uh, bring the, back getting light. Bring back the chicken noodle soup. Oh Woo! shit. Get light on. Let it anymore. rain. Now clear it out. Oh. Now let it rain. Now clear it out. Hey, hey, come hey. on, man. Hey, hey. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. That's how they do Lamar's in Harlem. Yeah. Let's go, let's go. On, DJ Web Star. Let it rain. Breathe. Now breathe out. Now breathe in. Now breathe out. All the nurses are like, uh. Hey, no music. No cervix. Baby, the baby's head come out the womb is like, hey, big stop. 
You're like, oh shit. You're like, where the fucking hookah came from? Yeah, what the fuck? Oh shit. I am definitely partying above 150 thirsty. Oh shit. Wow. <laughs> this is wild. This is crazy. Now, if you if, if you mind, I have to go check my car, make sure it didn't get stolen. <laughs> Shout out to everyone partying in lounges above 145th Street where they automatically add the gratuity. Mm. I don't know why they do that. Please stop, all right? I know you think you're fighting gentrification. You're not. You're not. Is that, what, is, that, is that the strategy? That's the strategy. If we just add a tip, and we'll discourage white no, people? No, it's like, because white people aren't going somewhere where the gratuities are automatically added on. Like, they'll look like that fucking guy when he was testifying. Kavich, Kavich, like, nah. Like, niggas is not with the shit. <laughs> White people decide when and where they can add their tip. You know what? 20% is the standard. Mm -hmm. Okay. But you know what? You're getting three. But you're getting three because your service was uh, god awful. And now people, if I are, do saying, so people are saying, Jesus, you sound racist. That's not true. But go to the, what is it? Is it the Red Lobster on 125th Street? The gratuity is automatically added on or some shit like that? Mm. I remember it was when I uh, did a story on them back in the day. They wanted to change it. I don't really be in Red Lobster like that no more. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Are you, but the only Red Lobster I recognize is the best Red Lobster ever. Bay Plaza. The one in Bay Plaza. Bay Plaza, okay. stand up. What the Red fuck? Lobster. You know uh. what I'm saying? Bring that thing. The security you know be saying? like, yo, I hope you got yours because I got mine. You, I'm like, you, yeah. Red, the Red Lobster at Bay Plaza is the only place where you can take your buzzer. And go on an entire shopping excursion, mm -hmm. and then come back, and your buzzer still didn't go. Off. That buzzer got to give you radiation poisoning. They gotta, you got to get <laughs> like explain how the buzzer works. You can't. You can't. How else does it work? How else does it know the table's ready and where I'm at? Yo, and it goes off like it's like, like you want a game show and shit. Like I got like, the little oh, red yeah. lights. Oh shit! I want microwave linguine with lobster. And yeah. You run to the front desk with that buzzer. Like you acted like Charlie in the chocolate factory when you found the golden ticket, and they were like, like "Nigga, relax, relax." <laughs> like five other people relax. got glowing buzzers right now. We do relax. this shit. All day. It's all day, baby. <sighs> and don't even dare ask me for cheddar bear biscuits until I seat y'all niggas. And then you got people that steal the buzzer. What, what are you stealing the buzzer for? What are you going to do with what, what? it? You go play Red Lobster at home what? with your kids and you, shit? You can ice it out. And put we it don't got out. that no more. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Somebody out there, rapper. Some rapper out ice there. Ice out a Red Lobster buzzer. Exactly. That's what the speech need for the culture. You know what I'm saying? Beyonce goes to Red Lobster. Beyonce cop one for Hove. Cop a iced out yes, buzzer. Yes, red lights for Jay -Z. with the lights. It yeah. gotta have the lights. Gotta be official. Keep, like press it on the back and make yeah. the lights go around. Rubies. That'd be pretty hot. Lit. Beyonce's like, oh, that sounds tacky as fuck. <laughs> I am not. She's doing like, that. nigga, I just did a video uh, photo spread mm -hmm. at the loo. Yeah. So not... suck my dick from the back. Meanwhile, Jay Z's like, this <laughs> I mean, it sounds kind of lit. It sounds it's, it's just it's kind of ill. I mean, I'm, I, mean I wouldn't B, be a guest to pay. B, I mean, like you know, I mean, I, mean, <laughs> I would even go so far to add a little title on top of it. So yeah, niggas know, you know the best is the rock. rock. If you think about it, the rock signal is just a variation of the Red Lobster buzzer. It is. So it's let me blow down. your mind right it's there. Down coffee. Y'all don't listen. Flex bar. Y'all don't know. I'll be your blow, mind blow, blow your mind. Blow you know your mind. Saying? Blow your mind like fire toppy. I heard that in the song the other day, and I was like, Blow your I mind don't like know. fire toppy. At this top, I don't know. Who if, said that? I don't know. A little baby, a little little Cashville, a little Advil, little little uh transvaginal mesh. I don't little, know little, these rappers. Their I'm names. waiting. I'm waiting for the shit to really reach its zenith, and a dude name himself Lil Lil. Little little. Little little. little. No, you need someone to be like gender fluid and like have a male rapper call himself like little girl or some shit like that. Yeah. Just oh, really fuck with niggas. Little toddler. Nigga be like, yo, because they got little baby. <laughs> little toddler is a little zygote. Yeah, what's yeah. up, nigga? Yo, what what's up, up, little embryo? Yo, what's up? Yo. Yo, little, I believe that life starts at consumption. Wow. Yo, my shit. Christian raps. Yo. Yo, I'm alive because God nutted in my Like, yo, oh what shit. Is bond? No, no. About that. Yo, your niggas, yo, science and religion go hand in hand, B. Yo, the anticipation of the participation of the black man with Parsippany. Yo, uh, oh, excuse me while I sip the D. You know what I'm saying? Just oh, the nigga oh, with the lyrics. Oh. You think I'm freestyling? I'm not styling for free. I oh. got a bag and it's full of salami and meats. Oh. So come down to Giordano's bread shop on Victory Boulevard. We got the best <laughs> raps in Staten Island. <laughs> yeah, fuck. Yeah. I, I told you. I, I'll be opening the door. I told you. They got them. I told you. You listen, let Mike Anthony spit a little something. They're doing an ad campaign. Yo, I got bars for days, bro. Mike Anthony could do something. We need uh rhyme something with prosciutto. Yo, yo, prosciutto. 
I fuck your girl in the nudo. That means that snudo. I Julio taught me a little Spanish. You know what I'm saying? And I'm listening to reggaeton now. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting in the zone. Now I'm in Dykeman leaning in front of Agua Roja, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Check me out. I use the N-word casually now because I've been accepted by the community. <laughs> I'm, I'm invited to the cookout. Nah, nah, you're not. You're not. You're not. You're not. You're not See, like, I told you Mike, you had bars. Not, All right. Mike. Tell JoJo Pellegrino he's not needed no more. <laughs> Shout out to JoJo Pellegrino. Actually, JoJo Pellegrino just Drop dropped distance. a diss to Eminem. 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 And while I've been very busy and I haven't had a chance to listen to it, I'm sure it's fire. So, <laughs> shout out to shout, Listen, once you rap, you can't just stop rapping, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I know, listen, I know what your girl is telling you, but listen, the little evil Jesus is on your shoulder. You can't stop rapping, can't, nigga. Can't stop, won't stop. That shit, listen. That rap shit, is life. That shit ain't choose you. Rap chose you. Rap Wait, chose you. The game yo, chose you. Ain't you. Choose it. you ain't choose it. It chose you. You know what I'm so saying? You keep rapping, nigga. It's your destiny. You know what I'm saying? Every now and then when your girl go to sleep, you go in the living room, you go underneath the couch. You know what it's I'm her saying? couch. Don't make no noise because she's going to throw you out the house. But you pull out your little rhyme book and you look you know back and you look at the growth. Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? You throw the headphones on mad low, go in the yo, basement. Shit, niggas, you know what I'm saying? Niggas don't even know this shit. Yo. Like, yo, I'm going to do an old school shit. You don't want if you think I'm jiggy by the locks. Yo. Like, that's, not even, that's not even really old school. I mean, if we're going to keep it funky, but you know what I'm saying? Ever. Remember when he freestyled to his windshield wipers? Who? Jojo Pellegrino. Did he? That's literally a thing on YouTube. He freestyled to his windshield wipers. I mean, that's that's listen. That's they, hip hop. They hip hop. They're not doing that no more. Real hip hop. You know what I'm saying? If if you listen, if you are MC out there and you got bars, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You bars. got motherfucking bars. Bars. I want you to freestyle to the sound of when you take the city bike out the dock. Turn yeah. that into a beat. Yeah. That lets me know you're in these streets. you really in these streets, bro. Or why has no one ever uh, made a beat out of the sound of like a Metro card swipe? Yeah. Yeah. Think about that. They Use all the sounds of the subway. The dude jumping in front Actually, of the train, uh, take passenger. DJ Muggs. Oh, he did that shit. DJ Muggs made a beat for La the Dark... La the Dark Man. Oh shit! Oh yes, and um, wow, La the Dark Man. Holy yes, that was shit. DJ Muggs for uh, Soul Assassins. Wow, one of the greatest albums ever. Look at it. I don't know if they have it on Spotify or whatever, but shit, wow. Chapter One. Okay. Yeah, those beats were hard. Those beats was hard. Shout out to DJ Muggs. That's called motherfucking beats, nigga. Yeah, you know what's crazy? He's white. I had no idea he was white. I thought Who, he was DJ like, Muggs. Yeah, I thought he was Mexican. I saw it too. You just blew my mind. You just blew my mind. Yeah. Wait, that wasn't. Oh, it was Call O the Call the Wild. It was called New York Undercover. Much like the show, we would like Dick Wolf to reboot, but Dick Wolf was like, "Fuck y'all," because I'm gonna get more money, and y'all not, because he just did a new show coming out. It's called very creatively FBI. Oh wow! And it's about the FBI and how they FBI the shit. FBI, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like at this point, Dick Wolf is looking at Twitter like, nah, fuck these niggas. Yeah, fuck these the, niggas. The is strong. The brand is strong. You suck my dick from the back. Yeah. Brand is strong. You know what? We're is gonna it? find out Dick Wolf is like DJ Envy's cousin. <laughs> That's why this shit never happened. Yeah, the one that the LA, uh, ironically, they're both dicks. Apologize to my pursuit. Oh, I apologize, I apologize, apologize. Apologize to my CBS apologize, Friday night apologize, lineup. Apologize. Apologize, <laughs> apologize to Damn, he got mad. He got another show called One Chicago? Yeah, Yo, listen. This nigga got a whole lineup of shows. He's probably like, you know what? Maybe if you guys stop saying this nigga, maybe you guys get a show. <laughs> 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 All right, Dick. We'll stop calling you a nigga. All how right, about Dick, that? All right, Dick. That's Coyote. how guy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Come on, give us Law & Order Chopped Cheese. I feel like if we did get a show from Dick Wolf, that should be the most stereotypical shit ever. We'd be uh, like hip-hop breakdancing cops and oh, shit. Oh, yeah. You Our first that. case would be literally tracking down like Fortnite stealing moves, and we'd like have to like do a stakeout and we'd catch Fortnite we'd have literally call, like, loading breakdancers in the back of a tractor trailer to yeah. get to a shootout with them. Yeah. Nigga, be... nigga shooting hit two million and shit. Like, like, oh shit. We need a boss. We need a boss. I'm like two million. Two million. Like, two million. Is your milli rock still sturdy? He's, he's like, like, I can go on. Like, 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 oh shit. Apply pressure to my milli. Turns out the head of Fortnite stealing dances is that little white kid that be doing the floss kid floss dance with the backpack that was in the oh, Katy Perry shit. Wow. <laughs> Trying to shoot at him. He's blocking it with his hands while he's oh, flossing. He's like, fuck out of here, nigga. Like, stick around his back. <laughs> Hit his book bag. That's his weak point. Flank him. <laughs> <laughs> it's shining red. That means it's his weak point. His shield is down. You got five seconds. Don't yeah, reload now. Don't reload now. What's wrong with you? Yeah, I get directly hit, but I just go behind like a fucking concrete barrier and like my health regenerates. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, this is not how shootouts work in real life. I'm like, ah, ah, uh, give me four seconds. Ah, uh, uh, oh, you shot me in the head, huh? Ha ha. 100% now, nigga. Ah, uh, back to back. Sad. All these kids. Well, see, at least Fortnite. Fortnite's not even realistic because you get shot and just die. Yeah. But, or you can take mad bullets. They need super realistic Fortnite, like, 
take all the weapons away and just make it like Civil War style. No, Revolutionary War style. The parkour and if you miss, if you miss, it just takes you like ten minutes to reload. Is there a fucking Civil War video game? Yeah, of course. Well, only racists play Civil. What's fun about a Civil War game? Wait, oh, oh, let me stop. Like, first of all, you gotta play on. You gotta play on the, the, north. the No, you gotta play on the south side. They had the cool, the red coats and shit. Oh, niggas was uh, niggas was the original Bloods. But then, mm -hmm. um. No, I mean yeah. the Civil War, not the Re the Revolution. Oh, the Revolution War. War? Yeah, the Revolution War is kind of whack though. There's nothing. Yeah. That shit ain't really having no swag. Until you take Mad Lord to reload your gun and shit. Yeah, like, like niggas yeah, eating like sauerkraut yeah, and shit. Like yeah, kinda, like yeah. niggas fighting fighting like four weeks it's like, for yo, like a gourd field. Like yo, fuck that. One of the perks is like, yo, I don't get scurvy. You gotta wait for niggas to send like one bandage back from England. The shit takes five months. <laughs> <laughs> Just in a war field, like ah, oh, yeah, yeah. chill yo. You'd be like calling a care drop a care package. Shit comes in. And six months later, you like, got Native Americans. They look we making the scene from Belly with the guys eating a the banana. They looking at like white people, like I don't like this. I don't shit. like this shit. I don't like this shit. I'm dropping oh, down on this thing. I don't like these. These niggas are wasting all the buffalo. <laughs> these niggas. Motherfuckers come through, shoot a buffalo, eat like a buffalo nugget, and just eat leave it there. <laughs> like it's like oh, I can't. back in the day, white people was wasting buffalo the way white people waste breakfast and movies and shit. Like uh, yo, I gotta go. Uh, oh sorry, big, big day today. Gotta go. Oh, grab sorry. one piece of toast and run out. Like ah. oh. <laughs> But honey, uh, honey, I mean, just scramble Niggas made them a fucking balanced breakfast. Porridge. As a kid, I thought balanced breakfast meant there was so much fucking food on the table balanced because, like, you had pancakes <laughs> and all that shit. My mother was like, what? Because I was like, yo, on TV, there was like, you gotta, like, you have to eat cereal in a balanced breakfast. You can't just eat a bowl of cereal for breakfast. My mother was like, boy, if you, if you don't, if you don't, you gotta eat your fucking kablow. Fucking kabam, kaboom. I'm like, nigga, why, how come all the other cereals come in a box and this shit come in a bag? Nigga, eat your fucking king vitamin. People at school see this shit. Like they eat know. Your, eat your king vitamin. I can't brush my teeth after. Eat this. your fucking king the vitamin. Top of my mouth, the top of my mouth is all cut up. It It's hard. Doesn't matter. Like what is Here, this? Here, Prince with Listerine after that. I'm like yo, why does it taste like shingles? <laughs> Yo, King Vitamin had the same texture as Bugles. King Bugles. Vitamin has the same Bugles. texture as the fish tank rocks. Oh, man. Like, if you eat fish tank rocks, then you eat Captain Vitamin. Shit was good, though. You know what I'm saying? But it had, the, it had fucking uh, Jeff Sessions on the front in a crown. King Vitamin. Yeah, he was like, yo, I'm not really a king. I'll just be doing king shit. Yeah, I mean, so, you know I mean. I'm king of the town that I live in, I guess. I mean, you know what I'm saying? We I'm just king of my fantasy baseball team. You know me, King Keg. <laughs> uh, King, <laughs> no King home Keg. runs, but I uh, listen. But I've gotten home a couple of times without a Dewey. So hey, I mean, you know listen, what I mean. Hey, that'll work. Also, it's King Vitamin, not King Vitamin. A lot of people call it King Vitamin. It's King Vitamin. That sounds like they were just trying to. Uh, they were just trying to avoid some sort of fucking lawsuit. Lawsuit. <laughs> <laughs> like somebody definitely had Vitamin. King uh, Vitamin. <laughs> Someone, oh, call King Vitamin. Someone, yeah, they were like, yo, I'm sue you if y'all niggas. If y'all y'all use my fucking vitamin shit, nigga. It's quiet for you, bro. Sue the I shit out you, motherfucker. I got that. I got that thing. Y'all not, not ready. Y'all not ready. Because you know what? It's been episode 128. 128! It's your boy Jesus Nice, aka Young Chipotle, aka Pocket State Fat Like Cheerio. Uh, excuse me. No, you got it. Oh, no, no, no. Clean Take it your up. remote right clean now. It up, clean it up, clean turn it, up. it to the SAP channel. Clean it up. And I. Whoop, 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 whoop. Pac stay fat like, here we go! Yeah. I gotta remake that with like mad kids in the back, like, hooray! Yeah. Chris Dasper, Sling Dick, Eli Lippy, Butch Bugilly, Somebody I Might Know You Bitch, Young Day Party, Young Hat Take, DJ Fuego, Mr. Nanos with a Rondo, Mio Nova Santa Noventa, Equato, Man, Nueva York, Mikel Going Off, the Juve Boss, MC Looking yeah. Goopy, Put Up for 40 with your shorty, AKA Don't Woo. Talk to Me in the Old Pool, I Don't Know You, The Original My Plus One Got a Plus One, Don't Make a Fuss, Son, Jesus Rossi and the Jamaican Jew, Jermaine Avocado Toast, Young Pilot, Ghost Mufasi and Chakuli with the Culinary, AKA Chili Moan, and finally leave to the Yankees, KL, okay, Woo. Three Phone Jones, Jesus Machina, Jay Chuckle, Stan the Cups, The Human, Dr. Bonner's Label, Dilute, 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 Dilute. And shout out to Dr. Bonner's, they Change the label. It now no longer has all the words on it, and it's kind of sad. So, <laughs> end of the era. DNR of the Trapio, Mr. 240P, because I like my Pino, blurry, yeah. and preferably with performers who are now retired and they have regular jobs. And if they found me beating my meat to them at this point in their life, they'd be like, You're disgusting. Have you ever beaten me to a dead porn star? Constantly. It's so hot. Yeah. DJ Will I, aka Listen to Watch <laughs> FM. Up next. This is a throwback. I don't oh, know if the computer. We going all the way back. All the. Way. Do y'all remember a little group called Soul Position? We going back like. We're going back like Mike Tarico's hair. Oh shit! Oh. Shout out to RG Day 2 and the Blueprint. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Listen, that's real hip hop for y'all niggas. You know what I'm saying? Real hip hop. 
We'll never die. Pop, 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 pop. Stay alive, black man. The curry goat, these are spices. Ah. Jamar Hasbro, the Bronx, Celine Dion. Ray nephew's nephew, the Moreno, you cannot contain. Oh, Demon Mammy, where the job? Young Aaron, the racist provocateur. Hedrick Blood Coast. Nelson Bandela, Sergio can't see me. Vladimir Booth and the humans were melting in your mouth. Mr. Bexar, Zekas, and Ricky Squad. Be Greg Popovich. More say it's with your chestnut. Mahatma Gambi. Not Maccabi, but I got that cucumber. Oh. The juice is oppressed, which your boy never is. I am the art, damn it. The Dundada Ganoush. No more cup of noodles. The Prince of Peckham. The Fashion Over Casting Over. We ain't made sense. Five, ten, ten, ten dollars to get the small change. Give me big money. money. The only anthem my salute is zip set. Mr. Sacker, catch me a square one top left. Man, says Marv. True, Rizuda. Holy cow. Mr. Soft Hobbs, all I do is count checks and jerk off. Yeah. We got OJ, purple stuff, soda, and it's me, Sunny D. David Yerman. These expenses, these are very bad. Smoke Keem, no Andrew Kuhn, and AK the Junior Energy God oh, Junior. Seat, Come sit down upon me, Charger. Sit upon it, sit upon it, girl. Let me work upon your garden. Yeah. Too. Call me Petco because I got your bitch on free. Ooh. Topic of gossip and sigh. it. Yeah. By the monthly pass, it's like $400. Hey, we're going saying. to the Billy Joel show. It's going to be a great time. It's peak, but you know, I'm saying, I, I got to be home by 7. You know, I like my Jeopardy. A.K.A. Grandpa Joe, because when you see Charlie, you see me. Don't touch that golden ticket. And if my cat scratches you, you say thank you for the hepatitis. Mr. Shopping that Street Easy with a bad piece like I'm easy. Please believe me. The Black Asia Attic will crack your back like automatic craft magic. Miss Lamina Mesh Mina with a fresh Miss Mina and cold demeanor, baby. A.K.A. your problematic bay. All right, let your kids dress themselves. What's the worst that could happen? Brah. Ah, the worst that could happen is that they wear underwear on their head to school and uh, make fool themselves. Episode 128, and we are up out of this bitch. See you next week, you fucking cowards. It's your boy, the Kid Marrow, aka the Human Durag 5, aka Donovan McDab, aka Curve Gotti, aka Churis Khalifa. You know what I'm saying? AKA Skirt Loader Jump the Curb, hit your dog, keep it moving. Ask me if I care, nigga, call PETA. You know what I'm saying? Tell him to throw some fucking paint on my mink, nigga, I don't care. Now it's one of one. I ain't no fucking baby. I fucking man. AKA, no need to check the guest list. Don't even check the guest list, motherfucker. My name is on it. This is Kanye's bar mitzvah, right? 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 So then my name is on the fucking list, nigga. Let me in. AKA, CC Dab, Adia, AKA, get into the shmoney and the schmoke. It's your boy Goldman Schmidt. You know what I'm saying? AKA, I got my kids at the UN General Assembly front row cutting Trump ass, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm the fucking d- d- dad of the year. That first c- couple of chuckles was my kids, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? A.K.A. Bismack Biombo, A.K.A. Diego Maradona, A.K.A. Digging your baby Matombo, you know, coming this pussy no more. I told you too many times, motherfucker. Next time, you're going to catch a bad one. What a sucker. A.K.A. The new coach of the Knicks, David Tristel. Pow, nigga, take that for data. A.K.A. Barlow Santana, so smooth, I fall asleep at the wheel and crash the Tesla. Cause I got it on sale, stales of plummeting. Yeah. Catch for cheap. A.K.A. The Dominican Dada Techman Daddy. A.K.A. Swipe my card again. There's definitely money. I had to put the plastic back on that shit. You saying that? You are embarrassing us both. You know who the fuck I am? I play the Teletubby with the perch, nigga. Winky or Pinky, whatever the fuck his name was. AKA Romeo Xantos. So Zanny. <laughs> Let me black out. Y'all make out with your mother on stage, bro. I don't even care. Like, ask me if I care. Look at my Chelsea boots, how immaculate they are. Light now, Dutchie. Hello. Hello. Is it weed you're looking for? I can see it in your eyes. That your broke ass ain't got five. So keep stepping, my nigga, please. And don't come in the side for some mango pina, nigga. That's 90s weed. We doing 2018 weed now. A.K.A. Tom Prince, your girl got my balls deflated. A.K.A. Feel the ass I said, I want to explore your cows once a while. You know what I'm saying? Especially where after you had a long day, you know what I'm saying? And you was thinking about sexual activity. You know what I mean? You take them drawers off and then you got that little white streak. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Let me, yeah, let me enjoy that. A.K.A. Friday night, Messi MVP of Gelato. You know what I'm saying? I'll score more mad goals. You know what I'm saying? On your holes. You know what I'm saying? AKA Zane, nobody feel. Now nah, you gotta get some sticks. Yes. Now nah, you gotta get some sticks. AKA Joe Hookah. I dare you. To smoke with me and Mama Sushi, which surprisingly has really good octopus. I'm not even going to front. AKA Ben Boston. <laughs> My hands are gifted. I have the precision of a Swiss wristwatch. I will replace your spinal column with a steering column so you can steer clear of me, you dusty ass motherfucker. Don't you ever dare direct your ire at the head of HUD, motherfucker. Candy.
Handle my light work. AKA I'll be your medicine cabinet. You know what the fuck it is, man. Protect your benzos. It's the Zen, man. AKA Rico Sabroso. AKA Lucius Lion Ass Nigga. Come on, man. Of course I got a condom, baby, man. Come on, man. I'm going to just pretend I forgot when I, we get back to the telly, man. Come on now. Oh, no. <laughs> AKA Baby Newport. The two for five niggas got garbage down the way. AKA Nino Brown. Shut the car down. AKA Live from the Burger King on Burnside and Jerome with a pocket full of zesty onion ring sauce. It's the East Tree Monster. DVB doing all his greatest hits like I want to be the one your DD is fucking and dope sick love don't let me leave you know what I'm saying and <laughs> I, this bears this goes without saying mate but I'm gonna say it anyway because you're a bunch of fucking bollocks and nonsense it's tea time to buy the plantain soup and over in the sky One day you will find me Smoking weed on Tremont Throwing bundles of one thick up my butt AKA I met Mike Francis, I'm never gonna fail AKA starting at forward lane Switching with the paint dripping Serp sipping, it's Barmelo's Anthony For three pints, bang! He's leaning on the bench, sitting sideways Listen, man, if you see me at Target trying to figure out if I like almond butter by sticking my finger in it, approach me like a fucking earth sign mammal, nigga. I may react erratically and throw the jar at your fucking face. AKA, I sold fake leans to your favorite SoundCloud rapper. He's high off an empty jar of jam that I filled up with windshield decks and just shook up and gave to him. Me, I'm not even trying anymore. And for all my peoples. Asa, tírame la fucking pita, coña, wey. Llegó el hijo de Titi Fifa, el my jimbe, de esta vaina, loco, el number one. Ponte claro, andamos chuchi, no me tumbe la nota, que yo, que te tumbo cocote, mamá huevazo. Pisa fino, como siempre, encendido en Los Micos, Asa, y hey, Jensi, broquete, dímelo, tocorillo, Jubilee, mero, pronto viene sencillo, mix pack gang, we me quité, yeah. Mamá huevo, 128, 128. Yeah, you know episode saying? 128. As always, shout out to the sponsor, you shout out saying? to Square Cash. Square Kizzy? Yo, find the ice cream truck going around the city. You know what I'm saying? Maybe not in this code. Keep your eye out. open. We're actually going to be giving out artisanal soup and peanut spice chowder That's with right. a t-shirt. So look you at us. Saying? We're going to be pulling up at the Bed Bath & Beyond over on uh, Avenue of America on uh, Friday at 4 o'clock. Don't, don't go there. All right, uh, we out. Bye. Bye. Bye.